Hello viewers, you are welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to cut a long fitted skirt that is going to be looking so pretty on your body with hip allocation and boot cuff to give you that perfect shape. You also learn the easiest and perfect way to cut your back slit. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. Okay, to fold my fabric, I will use the biggest part of my body, which is my hip, to determine the amount of fabric I will put on fold. I divided my hip by 4 and add 2 inches for my sewing allowance. After folding it, I will divide my round waist by 4 and add my 2 inches sewing allowance. I've marked it. From my waist to my hip line is 10 inches. I got the 10 inches by dividing my hip measurement by 4 and subtract 1.5 inches. That is standard. Under my hip line, I mark quarter of my round hip plus 2 and I connected it to my waistline. So from my waist to my knee line is 19 inches. On my knee line, I will mark quarter of my round knee measurement. To get your round knee, you subtract 8 inches from your actual hip circumference. My round hip is 46, so I subtracted 8 inches from my round hip. So whatever I'm left with, I will divide it by 4. That's what you will mark on your knee line. This will give you a perfect fitting around the knee area. If you don't want it to be tight, you can subtract 6 inches from your hip. So I will now connect it straight down, just rule a straight line down to the full length of the skirt. I use 43 inches for my full length plus 1.5 inches for folding. I've connected it. So on the center front, I will be coming down by 1 inch. This is to eliminate the excess folding at the front so that your skirt will be very fitted so i've slanted it to my side front i took one inch on my center front because i'm cutting directly on my fabric if you are drafting on a pattern paper you come down by 1.5 inches so this is when i was cutting it i'm done cutting it off you can see how the shape looked like so the next thing now is to cut the back part if you are seeing my video for the first time please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you get notified once i upload a new video all right okay this is when i was marking my zipper allowance i marked 2.5 inches as this video progresses i will explain why i'm marking it this way all right so just rule a straight line. Okay, I will divide my round waist by 4. And I will place it from that line. Add my 2 inches sewing allowance. I'll mark it here. Alright. I will also come down by 10 inches to determine my hip depth. I will place quarter of my round hip there. The same way I did at the front. I will connect it to my waistline. I will measure from my waist to my knee line. I mark 19 inches. And I will place quarter of my round knee there. Add 2 inches for my sewing allowance. I added 2 inches sewing allowance because I will be turning my fabric with lining. After that, I will now do my hip allocation. This hip allocation will help my zip to relax very well and also give me that curvy shape. So what I did is that I came in by 1 inch on my waistline and connected to my hip line. The way you see me doing. Just Curve it very well. Alright. On the knee line too. 
I will also mark one inch and I'll connect it to my hip. Curve it the way you see me doing. Please don't make it pointy. When I'm cutting it, I will show you how it will look like. So for my slit, I will be cutting off that two inches and I will leave only half inch that I will use to turn it. I will show you how I will do it now when I'm cutting it so you understand better. So I will cut it off. Just cut it the way you see me doing. Okay, I'll just cut this part off first. Let me cut it out. Okay, to eliminate the pointiness on my hip line, I will just trim it off a little bit. So that the curve can come out well. Alright. Okay, see how it's looking like. So for the slit now, I will go in. I'll go in. I will leave only half inch that I will use to sew the slit. I'll trim the rest off. See what I was telling you? I notch it here. After giving it a notch, I will now trim the rest off. Alright. If you want your slit to look very nice, this method is the best. You do it without any stretch. You just use your lining and turn it and the slit will be wide open. So I will notch my zip allowance. See what I have here. So I have different method of cutting my skirts, depending on what my client wants or what I want. So as you can see, I've cut my lining. You also cut your lining the same way you cut your skirts. As you can see, my lining is shorter by 2.5 inches. This is to give it a night nice folding at the down part. This is all I have for the cutting. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.